Drop the gun! Drop it the was gun. just a welfare check at this home, but bullets started flying. The close call was caught on body cameras. Good evening again, everyone. Firefighters and EMTs have been met with guns before. In one case, a bullet went right through a firefighter's helmet. Some have started wearing bullet-resistant vests, but only some of them. As Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us, it all comes down to money. A neighbor couldn't get the elderly ill veteran inside this home to answer his phone. So one of the EMTs broke out a small window in the door. No one expected this to happen. He's got a gun and he's shooting at the firemen. There were more shots fired at EMTs and paramedics as they backed up. But when the old man opened the door, they went right back to him. Yeah, I got you. So you're all right? The man said when he saw the EMT's arm break through the window, he thought his home was being burglarized. He fired right at that arm. Dumb luck, man. Right. You better go home and pray. And thank God. I've been, praying, I've been praying already. Unfortunately, it's not an uncommon event. You know, just within the last two years, um, this would be the, the third, what we'd say, very close call. And even though a bullet resistant vest would not have helped in this case, Alter says that kind of protection has become essential. Through lobbying efforts, we've been able to get um, about a quarter of the department, actually less than 25% of the department, issued new bulletproof vests. Um, you know, Why they're specific. 25%? It's the almighty dollar. The firehouse here in Northside did not get the new vest. These firefighters are among the 663 who get the leftovers from the police department, the sort of hand-me-downs. This one is already expired. And that expired vest, it was just issued to Engine Company 20 in Northside. That means it was expired when they got it. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. The plan is to buy some vests every year for five years until everybody has one. Councilman Chris Smitherman told Alter it should be a priority now. Alter will make that case to the Law and Public Safety Committee on April 10th.